Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video series, we are going to learn mathematics for artificial intelligence. So we are back to school life. The agenda for this video, you can see here, what is the roadmap to artificial intelligence, which we are going to aim in 2020 then the mathematical syllabus for artificial intelligence and its real usage in the AI project then finally reasons why you have to learn mathematics for artificial intelligence roadmap to artificial intelligence the first prerequisite is we have to learn python basics learning python basics is literally easy i have already completed video series on it you can check the playlist in my youtube channel or udemy course then while preparing python you can skip oops concepts because we won't use those concepts much in addition to python learning my sql is also important have this in your checklist you can learn my sql at the end that is after completing the sample case study because company expecting MySQL skills in interview and also very useful while working in the real-time project. After completing the Python basics, you can start learning the Python libraries like NumPy which is used for storing data in the multi-dimensional array, then Pandas for data analysis, Matplotlib for plotting the graphs, scikit-learn it's a machine learning library useful for implementing the machine learning algorithms then tensorflow keras opencv these frameworks you can choose based on your project requirement mostly i'll be using either tensorflow or keras for completing the sample case study then next comes our core topic mathematics we will discuss about it after few slides then both python basics and mathematics you can prepare parallelly but in order to learn python library you must know the python basics once you complete all these steps alone we can start learning the algorithms for machine learning we have a wide range of algorithms such as linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree, SVM, KNN and so on. And for deep learning, we have a single algorithm, neural network. Once we complete studying these algorithm, we can do the sample case study. If we want to train the model using machine learning, then we can choose a proper algorithm based on your requirement. For deep learning, we can implement many architecture model like convolutional neural network, recurrent neural network, then recursive neural network and so on. So the conclusion is our mission is to complete this roadmap in 2020. Hope you got a clear picture about the roadmap. These courses already exist in my playlist. You can learn using YouTube and also Udemy. Now comes our core topic, Mathematics for Artificial Intelligence. These are all the chapters we are going to learn in this course. Probability Statistics, Matrix Algebra, Mathematical Logic, Vector Calculus and few other topics. It will vary based on your requirement. I gave this percentage share for each subject based on my research only. Good thing here is, if we complete the probability statistic and a matrix algebra, almost 65% of syllabus is completed. The trick here is, we will first complete studying these two areas, that is probability statistic and a matrix algebra. After that, we will start learning the algorithms. Parallelly, I will post the pending other mathematical topics so that while starting the case study you will be ready with all the mathematical topics then it is always best to know the use of each subject so that it will be more interesting to learn since the probability statistic and matrix algebra 
plays a major role in artificial intelligence. We'll see both the areas in depth now. Matrix algebra is the most important skill in artificial intelligence. Because AI is all about the data and algorithms, all these data will be stored in the multidimensional array using NumPy array. In the left, you can see list of topics we are going to cover it like vectors, matrices, determinants, transpose of matrix and so on. These concepts we will implement while doing data pre-processing, data transformation, dimensionality reduction, model evaluation and few more topics also there. To understand more about these terminology, you can glance the data science process where I have already explained it clearly. Then comes the probability statistic, hero of artificial intelligence. Here you can see topics like mean, medium, standard deviation, probability distribution and so on. These concepts we use a lot in AI project like visualization of features, data pre-processing, data imputation, then dimensionality reduction, once again feature engineering, model evaluation and we have uh, so many areas where this particular probability statistics will be useful. I think now you understood how important mathematics plays the role in the artificial intelligence. Now comes my marketing part why you have to learn this course when you have so many courses in YouTube. First reason is this syllabus is prepared based on the academic purpose. It means in case if you are planned to do graduate degree in artificial intelligence or data science in any part of the world, 99% of this syllabus will be same. So if you prepare here then clearing those exams will be very easy. Then the second reason is to build the reliable AI models. We know very well machine learning and artificial intelligence are built on mathematical principles. Even with less mathematical knowledge also we can build the AI model. Because we have readily available Python libraries which makes Max implementation very easy. That's also another reason most of the paid coaching class not worried about teaching max concept in depth. But trust me, AI is all about mathematics. If you are strong in mathematics, then AI model which you are going to build will be definitely better than others. Then the third reason, the complexity level increases step by step. In case if you feel mathematics as tough subject, no worries, we will cover all the topics from the basics like school level, then we will be learning the advanced sample problems. Hope you are convinced with these reasons. If so, subscribe the channel and make sure you are enabled all notification setting by clicking on bell icon so that you won't miss any topics in future. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Advance Happy New Year.